everyone, welcome back to Death Parkour. In this video, I want to talk about why YAML is awesome. Uh, it's pretty much nothing more complicated than that. Uh, I, I've been using YAML for a while now. Um, obviously, YAML is popular for a lot of configuration files, and I've written those configuration files in, in YAML. Uh, you've seen on the channel uh, things like the GitLab CI uh, configuration file. That's a YAML file. Uh, when I built my um, my little Go app, when I was learning Go, I think about a year ago now, uh, I, I built it to use a YAML configuration file. Um, YAML is awesome. Uh, in my opinion, even more awesome than JSON. Definitely more awesome than XML. All three of these formats, YAML, JSON, XML, can store more or less the same information. Uh, it's semi-structured, uh, text-based format, easily human editable you know f formatting notwithstanding right you can you can make all of these files uh illegibly formatted um but yaml is a little bit stricter i would say um so it's kind of like the python or the ruby of uh of, of the, i guess more like the python right because uh, in python indentation matters in yaml indentation really matters um so as an example, uh, this is just the Wikipedia page for YAML. That's an example YAML file. Uh, and you can see it's basically key value pairs. Uh, but then in some places you've got dashes indicating uh, like arrays of, of, of items, um, you know, very similar to what you might express in, in JSON. Um, but the reason that I really like YAML is that I think it's really easy for someone not a developer to see, understand, read, possibly even more easy to understand than something like Markdown. Eh, it's, it's probably a close tie. But the idea is that uh, you can very clearly see like exactly what's going on here. Okay, so you've got a receipt and it's got a name, you've got a date and something that looks like a date, a customer. Okay, that looks kind of like a nested structure. That, that really all makes sense items, that's an array, and so on and so forth. Or list, you know, in, in layman's terms. Um, you can also get some, some more, uh, more advanced things like that block at the bottom. That's really significant, right? That value is longer than just what you can provide in a single line. So you wanna show it on multiple lines, but you wanna indicate that it's the value of the same key, uh, and that's, uh, there are actually a couple different ways you can indicate that. In this case, it's the uh, the angle bracket, the greater than angle bracket. Um, there's also the pipe character, which means something slightly different. Um, but the idea is that you can really use this to, to describe uh, a wide variety of data. Uh, and in my opinion, this is, this is very valuable because, for instance, let's say you have a short string you can have that as, as just a key value pair with a colon between the two. If you have a really long data string, you can have that as a, you know, one of these special characters and then just all of your data after that. Um, so that's, that's really valuable. Uh, it's also very well supported by languages. Uh, I wouldn't try to write a YAML parser on your own. There are so many YAML features that just make it, uh, you know, outrageous. Uh, but it is supported by Rust. My, my new favorite go-to language. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video um, down below. That was yesterday's video. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm actually using YAML with Rust right now uh, for a project, which I'll tell you more about a little bit later in the week. Um, but I think YAML is awesome. I think you should use it. Uh, it's a great storage format, a uh, great human readable data storage format. And I'm really excited to kind of uh, work you know, uh, unleash the power of YAML uh, in this, this project that I'm working on. So a little short video, just talking about how awesome YAML is. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you think YAML is awesome as well, go ahead and, and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you don't think YAML is awesome, but you like the video, still hit that thumbs up button. And please be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I talk about this, this project that I'm working on and when all of my other videos are released. I greatly appreciate it. Um, 
it's you guys and, and girls who are uh, growing the channel and making it so that I can continue to make these videos and I really appreciate that. And if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, uh, maybe suggestions for future topics, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, I do pay attention to those and I try to respond to every single one of them if possible. Um, so I appreciate you watching and I will see you tomorrow.